Reports of two cars colliding during that collision. A man was ejected from the vehicle. That 37-year-old man was taken to an IAEA hospital in, again, extremely critical condition. Police look like they're going to be on the scene for quite some time investigating this accident. So may want to take Dillingham or H1 instead of Nimitz Highway this morning. However, going into town on Nimitz, looking okay. And that is a wrap of your weather and traffic. Thanks a lot, Cam. Obviously, a lot of police officers on scene right there. And joining us live by phone is one of those police officers. Uh, can you hear us, sir? And can you give us your yes. name? Yes, I can. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, can you give us your name and tell us uh, what's happening there on the scene right now? Uh, this is Lieutenant Bobby Town of the Traffic Division. Uh, we are investigating the scene that has turned into a fatality. Uh, the male who was taken to Tripler, Army Medical Center, extreme critical condition, passed away. And we're learning that uh, possibly two cars involved in this traffic collision. Can you give us more details about how this happened? Uh, what we have is a Jeep that was on, actually it's Kamehameha Highway, headed towards Hickam, when a 2002 Chevy Cavalier, which was on... Balkenberg headed towards uh, Mackay side, um, met in the intersection, they got T-bone. The male in the cavalier was ejected. He was the one that was taken to Tripler Army Medical Center and extreme critical. And what the about... Male, yeah, the male in the Jeep was uninjured. And at this point, I know that your investigation is still preliminary, but what about speed or alcohol or drugs or anything of that nature? What have you found? Uh, we're looking at uh, both speed and possible alcohol at this point. It's a little early to tell, though. And no other cars involved in this incident, right? Correct. Just the two vehicles. All right. Lieutenant Bobby Town from HPD, thank you so much for joining us, and we really appreciate your information this morning. You're welcome. And stay with us. We'll continue to follow this breaking news throughout our newscast. We'll be right back.